legends, we're back for another week. Weekend to be specific, yes I know. Welcome to the show where we deliver to you the world's most exciting content creators and bring it to you live right here on YouTube every single week. And since we are live, you know what that means? That means you get to play along with us and leave your comments throughout the show. You're welcome, how much fun is that? I am your host, Dan Stagliano. Now, 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 now. If you were not with us last week, right, you're about to get excited. And if you were with us last week, you remember our special guests on the show were Michelle Scar and Chris Robertson from the groundbreaking web series, A Safe Distance, okay? Now, if you weren't with us, you're up to speed. A Safe Distance is set in the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic and follows a group of loosely connected 20 or 30 somethings attempting to maintain their relationships, their livelihoods and their sanity while coping with the uncontrollable circumstances of the global pandemic. Huh. But here's the really cool thing. The entire production was cast, filmed, and edited entirely remotely over the course of the COVID-19 quarantine. Here, take a little peek. Still love that so much fun now this week from the series we have robert who plays alan and jason who plays kevin happy sunday gents how are you guys doing hi happy sunday <laughs> happy sunday fun day thanks for having Hanging us in, how are you? yeah thank you and you know it boys jace you said it mate fun day that's the key word you know we have fun on this show Oh, Robert, wait, we are doing brilliant because we're able to wrangle you two in with us today. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with a semi-serious question because we're serious on this show all the time, as you can tell. How are both holding up in this new version of normal? Robert, let's start with you, buddy. Whew. Uh, yeah, who would have thought that would be a complicated question? You know, I'm, I overall feel very thankful to be in Connecticut where I can walk outside. I've, I've always felt safe going outside and going for walks. Uh, all my loved ones, my family, my friends, they're good. I'm trying to stay creative. I made a decision the other week that even though there's not a lot going on, I was going to start posting on TikTok. <laughs> so that's been fun uh, and weird. Um, yeah, so just trying to stay creative and, and thankful, I guess, overall. How about you guys? Yeah, you guys teach me TikTok because I still don't get it. I, I've been downloaded and I, I don't know. But um, no, I've been good. Like you I know, probably for, don't. given the circumstances, <laughs> uh, given the circumstances, you know, good, healthy. Um, I'm with my family, Connecticut as well, which is going really well. You know, I was in a pandemic in New York for the first half of it, so that was interesting. But now I'm with family, and you know, we're just hanging out. Had a COVID birthday in January. It's all good, you know, given the circumstances. Okay. Can I sing a belated happy birthday to you, Jason? I'm a horrible singer. Do you want to hear that? Happy oh. birthday to oh you. Oh my gosh. I will we can harmonize. Stop now before everybody. That, that's, 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 no, I love it. I'm so thankful for that. that. <laughs> but, mate, you're welcome and I apologize. Listen, the most important thing, obviously, is that you, you two gents are safe and healthy and, and that you are with family is a fantastic thing. Although, I feel like I'm a little left out because you guys are both in Connecticut and I'm the odd one out all the way over on the West Coast in LA. Can I pretend I'm in Connecticut? Well, I'm a little cold right now. If we can take your sunshine. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I jealous that you're in that There is no chance. No chance. <laughs> no chance. I'm going to send okay. you some of the sunshine. I'm sending it over to you, boys. Jason, let oh, me ask oh, you this, buddy. It. Let me ask you this. Going back to the shoot. Take it, buddy. Take it. How did you find the experience of shooting an entire web series remotely? 
Yeah, it was it was challenging uh, with the whole like being on Zoom and having to like work with Wi-Fi. Um, that was the most challenging part was dealing with the whole like technological aspect of it. I mean, we had a really good team, had a really good co-star, so that like the acting was like the easiest part, right? Delivering the character was the easiest part. It was the technical of all this like Zoom acting was the hardest thing for sure. I mean, that's that's what I would have figured. And 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 when we spoke to your your um your castmates last week, I think that was the one thing that they both pointed out straight away was, you know, the technological side of it. it brings up things that you just don't think about or, or expect. And especially as an actor, to be really honest, like that's not generally what's on your mind. So I can imagine going into that, you might be sweating there for a little bit, like, all right, let me just check this off. I've got this, <laughs> that switched on, that switched off, that works, I've got Wi-Fi. Yeah. I, I, I'm getting sweaty just it's like thinking having a light. about that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like having the lights, having the microphone. It's like, where do you look? Because you want to look at the person on the screen. Uh -huh. But then I look into the camera. It's it's a lot. <laughs> it's really yeah. confusing. Then they but, start talking but... to you, and you look down at their camera. So you're looking down like this. You're like, "That's actually that's wrong. I'm not supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be here. My bad. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you." Exactly. <laughs> well, I've been entertainer. We were like our own crew. <laughs> I can imagine you must have been. And that said, you guys did a fantastic job. I want to just straight straight out of the gates. I got to let you guys know. You guys did a fantastic job. I watched the series. Um, I was enthralled by it. And thank you. Everything you guys had to do to make that happen, massive thumbs up, gents. Massive thumbs up. Now, thank you, thank Robin. You so much. We're gonna dig a little deeper. We're gonna dig a little deeper. This show highlights <laughs> many real, many real life, you know, points of contention. Let's say. So, with you specifically referring to your character, let's talk relationships, my friend. Overbearing partners, right. emotional baggage, the overly positive partner, stalkers. What relationship shenanigans can you get away with during a pandemic? I want to know. Can I personally get away with? Uh, well, you can take this I... as as yourself or as as Alan. If you want, you can answer this as Alan. Okay, let's do that. Because I, I feel like I'm probably the, the way too positive person, like toxic positivity. I'm always like, it's going to be okay. And everyone's like, actually, the world is on fire. And I'm like, um, Alan, I don't, I think was the opposite. What was really cool about Alan and such rich, like, text to draw from that our writer, uh, Dave, like, so brilliantly kind of, like, wove in was that he had to go back home. Like, so many people had to at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, you know, whether it be financial reasons or, you know, to take care of someone. Um, so he was back home, kind of reverted to his childhood dynamics with his parents who were like very overbearing. They're like anti-maskers, like in the beginning. Um, so he like had this uh, sense of conflict, you know, just being at home. And, and I think that was like the whole thing, uh, the whole foundation for that character riding under him. So he couldn't really... I think he was battling with that so much that like he didn't even realize he was like hurting his relationship in a way. I don't want to give away too much. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, that I think he didn't even know what he could get away with because he was so focused on just trying to like survive being with his parents, which, you know, that's a big, that's a complex relationship that I don't, I don't want to yeah. ramble on about. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true, though. Like that, that the relationship right there. Just the fact that you're you've moved back from being independent to with your parents changes the whole dynamic of everything. And so, here's the thing, Robert. It's so funny you mentioned that because one of the other things I wanted to know from you was this, Alan. As you said, now you gave it away. I'm allowed to say this. Alan moves back in with his parents in the series. Thousands of yeah. young adults in real life are in the same situation right now. So, having played that character mm -hmm. and put yourself in his shoes, right? Do you have any advice for someone who's been forced to move back home? How can you help them out, buddy? Oof. Well, since you asked, I will try to summon something. Um, I think the most important thing to remember is that your parents are people too. And even if they don't show it, it's probably really hard for them as well. You know, if they were empty nesters or, or whatever it might be. At the end of the day, if they want you to be there, they have to love you even if they're being controlling or smothering. So trying to focus on, you know, the love aspect, if you can, uh, the biggest lesson I think overall, and this goes with just, you know, being in a pandemic is you got to give up your control. We can only control ourselves. So don't try to control your parents. Uh, and I think that'll just, you know, free you up to just 
be yourself and focus on making your own decisions. If that makes sense. That's <laughs> great. That is absolutely great advice at any time in life, Robert. But need I point out, you called it before, you really are the positive guy, aren't you? I think it's great. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I hold a lot of stress No, we smile. love that. <laughs> the beautiful <laughs> smiles. Jason, I'm oh, cutting thanks. to you, buddy. I want to cut to you now, and I want to, yeah. I want to role play a little, all right? It should work fine for you. You're an actor, Ooh. righty? So we're going to go in the same yeah. in, the, in the same mold there. Let's say this time you were the person who has stronger feelings towards your partner. We're still in a pandemic, right? So what's the pandemic mm -hmm. game plan? Since you can't see them in person, what do you do to ensure that you keep that person interested in coming back? So when things open again, they're right there waiting for you. Ooh. Oh, well, I guess that's I mean, it's a hard question, especially because I'm single. But um, <laughs> I guess it would be kind of like, I don't know, making date nights, you know, making things special. If, like, even if it's just once a week where we get together on Zoom and like my character does, he loves to uh, go on these Zoom dates and he loves to order out at restaurants and whatnot. So I think that was a cool thing, you know, ordering at a restaurant together, eating together, doing like a Netflix party or a Hulu party or something cool like that. I'm just trying to keep that bond together. For sure. So it's all about it's all about keeping the bond, which is which, which is a good point. Without being overbearing, too, I like that. Very, very uh, half and half there, my man. I like yeah. the way you're doing it. So you said you're <laughs> single. Have you had any <laughs> online dating experience during the pandemic? Well, I tried, but it's 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 not for me. <laughs> I'm like a all or nothing kind of person. So like being that halfway in, into something just doesn't work for me at all. I like see the all or nothing. So I'm going with nothing it's until things nothing. get better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It wasn't because of it wasn't because of the food the other person was eating on your first date that may have upset you. Uh, I mean, that could that could have been questions. that could have been definitely questions. no fast food, huh? Oh. <laughs> I love yeah. that when I saw that. I'm not going to say any more. I'm not going to say any more. I'm not saying anything else. Um, Jason, yeah. let me ask you this then, buddy. What are you looking mm -hmm. forward to the most? post-pandemic and into the future? Mm. Oh, that's a really good question. I think um, at the beginning of the pandemic and seeing how much uh, just what was going on in the world and how much inequality there was and, you know, all the stuff that we're seeing of how the pandemic like kind of shined a light on everything going on, I kind of decided that like, I'm going to work as an artist full time. You know, I'm going to like stop doing side gigs and whatnot. And that's what I've been kind of spending the past year is doing, figuring out how I can be an artist um, and serve my purpose, which is to create art, you know, by writing and acting, directing, and how I can do that full time to earn money. So that's what I'm looking forward to is being able to create again with other people. <laughs> in person, in person. Mate, that's, that's <laughs> fantastic. So if you cover a whole broad spectrum, then you write, you direct, you act, um, you do it all. Is there anything else in addition to that? Um, or is it just mostly the sort of, you know, uh, entertainment industry um, art that you're involved in? Yeah, um, I try to do a lot of art. Um, I run like a group for artists. Every meets every Sunday. We share new work. Um, I have a podcast that's hopefully coming out in April. <laughs> um, I try to do some activism as well. You know, I try to stay multi layered and try to give back as much as I can. You know, I'm starting a film festival in my hometown while I'm here, so that's been a cool process as well. Jason, man, you are yeah. busy. Oh, cool. Do you sleep at all? <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I try. I <laughs> that try. is really <laughs> impressive, my man. I think it's a thank fantastic you. way that, you you know, we've been forced um, into having extra time, additional time at home because of lockdowns and everything like that for horrible reasoning, of course. But the fact that you're you're able yeah. to really utilize that time and, and make the most of it and offer back, I think that's that's fantastic, Jace. Really good work, buddy. Um, thank you. Robert. Same question for you, my friend. Post-pandemic future, what does it look like for the great man with a great smile? Whew. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Uh, hopefully smiling bigger, you know? Hopefully seeing friends and family, just being able to hang out without anxiety and maybe inside even would be amazing. Uh, and mostly, you know, one of my first loves is theater. So being able to get back on stage would be like a dream it's it's been exactly i think a year since i was last on stage in a show and definitely feeling it oh so gosh. i know that's something i'm looking forward to a lot i can i can i can only imagine robert my man um but if i may can i offer you a suggestion um yes if you're at home with your parents you could 
force your family to sit on a couch and watch you as you perform. <laughs> Make them even pay for tickets. <laughs> I did they that. should support I'm, I'm you, actually, I'm just saying, it's fan <laughs> I'm actually not with my parents, but I did, um, uh, when I was a kid, I used to do that all the time. I would force people to sit down in the living yes. room and watch me just like, even if I was like lip syncing to like a Broadway musical or something, yeah, they would sit there and humor me. It's a lot of weird home videos. They're, they're so and, nice. And, and remember, <laughs> and that is so nice that they entertain that too. And, and remember, gentlemen, yeah. right, remember this, you're artists, so... The only money that counts is the paper money. Don't give me no coins. It's the paper money. Remember to remind them. Yeah, they're paying you like that. There it is, Jace. There it is. All righty, gents. Now, speaking with social distancing, because uh, this is the theme of the web series, it, it's obviously hard, and the series does a great job of highlighting some of those difficulties, okay? How are you both with social distancing? Have you become experts in the socially distanced world, or is there a little bit of work you each need to do to get a little better? Jason, starting with you. Oh, I mean, I think I'm pretty good. I've been like, I'm a very social person. Like I'm always going out with my friends. It's just when I'm home, I'm always seeing my childhood friends and we're always hanging out. And I've only seen them, then, seen them twice since I've been here and it's been like, you know, very spaced out, wearing the masks, you know, wearing the gloves, um, not doing karaoke like we usually do all the time. Like, I'm like, no particles in the air. Like, you know, <laughs> so it's, it's been, <laughs> I'm trying, trying our best. <laughs> you like lip sync where there's nothing coming out. It's just, <laughs> I mean, it's not quite the same, but still. That's probably better from- Robert, you buddy? Yeah. Now I'm lip syncing. Uh, I think, am I an agoraphobic now? <laughs> Are we agoraphobic? Um, no, I, I'm also like a really social person. And as soon as this hit, it was at the point where like, even when we didn't really know anything, we like got in the car and I was like, we're gonna do a pandemic parade. And like, I just drove to everyone nearby and like waved through the window because I missed people so much. Um, but I'm, I'm a good, yeah, I'm a good social distancer. I'm all about like hanging out outside. I know people that are on the other end of the spectrum and that scares me. So maybe I'm like too far, like, you know, distanced, but I think we're both, we're good. I'd say Jason, we're good, right? I think we're, we're good. messed up. Except I haven't seen you. I feel like I haven't seen you much. I, since we've we actually finished. never seen each other really in sad. person. Yeah. <laughs> what? Never ever. Which is crazy. I know. No. Yeah. Oh, wow. We have lots of mutual friends, but wow. we've never met in person. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. What's well, part of the reason why we wanted no, to weird. get you all on here today? I mean, I know it's not quite in person, but here we all are. See each other again. Robert, that's Jason. Jason, that's exactly. Robert. Say hi to each other, boys. Hey. <laughs> this, oh, this side. Hey. This leads us. It's that way. There it is. <laughs> this leads us brilliantly into, and Jason, you asked me this before. Are we playing a game today? Why I was almost insulted because that is the crux of our show here. We are playing a game today, team, and it's running with the theme of your web series. It's called A Safe Distance, The Game. Oh. Hello. Little golf cheek, boys. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Now, let me, let me just know. That's better. This is an improv game, gentlemen, all righty? And the, the, the answers, there are very few right answers here, all righty? This is just an improv game. But we'll get a bit, we'll get a bit of an idea about what you gents are like, all righty? So what I'll do is I give you mm -hmm. a scenario and you guys can confer, and then you tell me what a safe distance is to stay away from said scenario. Sound easy? Okay, okay. I think so, I think so. I dig it, I'm it's down. It's not easy at all, but we'll have fun. <laughs> all right, here's the first one. What is, what is a safe distance to stay away from a raccoon family in your backyard? Oh, my oh uh -huh. I have personal experience with this. I don't know about you, Jason. Oh, this is what we like. Yeah, we Get it juicy, baby. Here. I will say yeah. at least 20 feet. Like, I don't want to be nowhere near. <laughs> no, 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 no. 20, well, they 20? go for the garbage cans. So you they do. You want to you want to be as far away from them as your garbage can is from your house. I would say at least 20 feet too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 20 feet. Answer. 20 feet is a good answer. Yeah. I Because <laughs> our answer on the show was six <laughs> aluminium trash cans. That's, is that oh. 20 feet? That's probably about 20 feet, oh. big. That's, is that, that good? 20 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Six. yeah. Yes. Ding us. Yes. Give, it, give us a I point. Also, <laughs> I also, I also, bing, bing means we're doing good. High fives. Good work, Wait. boys. Good start. No, I, I also noted for myself that I said <laughs> aluminium and you guys say aluminum. Is that right? Aluminum. I said that wrong. You knew what I meant. We do it say is, aluminum. Your, your accent is Well, we got cooler. you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You boys are on fire. 
Alrighty, question two, boys. Now, we're sticking with the animal theme here, alrighty? So, let me just set the scene for you. You're in some vast savannah in Africa. The, the, the sunset's happening, it's gorgeous. And you come upon a birthing hippo. How far should you stay away from the birthing hippo? Oh. 20 feet? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I would... <laughs> poof. How far should you stay away from the birthing well, that thing could shoot out at you. Like, you don't want a baby hippo to shoot at you. Yeah. With that big mouth. Oh, exactly. Uh, like that. It, I would say it makes you super protective, too. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. I just remember, well, like, a video here. of, like, a hippo crushing a watermelon. <laughs> oh. I feel like that's how they could Sorry. probably crush United. a person, too. They're quite nasty hippos. All righty. Okay. So we're saying watermelon <laughs> length? Are we locking in the watermelon length? Our 20, answer on the show, our most popular response, 20 watermelons. <laughs> our popular response on the show was, if you can determine the sex of the offspring when it comes out, you're way too close. Oh, mm. that's good. That makes a lot of sense. Which really could be good. a few watermelons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, yeah. We're moving away from the animals here, <laughs> gentlemen. Um, and this one, oh. because Robert, you mentioned you were near a beach. Yes. You're in a storm. You're, you're on the end of a jetty, also known as a pier in this country, in a storm. But here's the kicker. You can't swim. How far away from the Ooh. end of the pier should you stay? Oh, I actually have experience with this. Because when I was the lifeguard, <laughs> there was a too. big jetty, and there was a storm one day. The guy was like, go change the flag at the end of the jetty. And I was like, that doesn't seem safe, but I did it. So it was my job. And yeah, almost got electrocuted. <laughs> I would say, sorry, almost ranted. I would, I would say, twenty feet. No, um, Jason. <laughs> twenty feet. <laughs> I would say don't be know. on the Ready jetty at all. Actually, don't be, don't on, be on the, the jetty at all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, agreed. Robert, that was Come the on. answer. That was a trick question. You shouldn't be oh. on a pier if you can't swim. Yes. Bing, bing, like bing. Listen to all those bings. <laughs> oh, good my job, Robert. My car. Tenderness. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> and that's why you're a lifesaver. I'm sure you saved many lives. This guy. Not only is he physically gifted, Absolutely. he's mentally switched on. Yes, Robert. I did. I, <laughs> I got a little curveball for you, gentlemen. Are you ready? We're, we're moving into the people yeah. category here. So it's yeah. it's the holiday season. Okay. Families not the past year, but every other year, come together and there's all sorts of, all manner of family members there. Some you know very well, some you don't know, some you wonder why they're there. After a couple of drinks, your handsy auntie gets a little close to you. Oh. How far do you then need to stay away from the handsy auntie who's had a couple of our... Mm. Oh. Well, who is the handsy aunt? No, that's just... Uh... <laughs> 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 that, that's a fair point. A wings, a wingspan, a wingspan, a wingspan. I feel like oh, you just call like a little handsy. wings. Though. You should just call her out, right? Just be like, don't, the don't, have to do anything. don't touch me, <laughs> but with a smile. <laughs> oh, what a smile! Yes. That's, that's the answer. That's the answer. You get a little aggressive. I don't have to do anything. And then smile, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me. Robert, I love that, my man. I love yes. that. Alrighty, our last one. You boys are doing great. How far oh. do you stay away from people during a pandemic? Really and they say together. together. Six feet. <laughs> yes. I saw you lip syncing that, Jackson. I saw it, buddy. I saw it. You were lip syncing brilliantly. I was trying to sync with him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great work, boys. It was just like, is that a serious question? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we have to end on a big boy question. The boss always makes me end on a big boy question. So I'm like, all oh, right, we'll do the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be very serious. <laughs> Listen, that was it. You did it, boys. You did an amazing job. That was our game of the week, A Safe Distance, the game. And you boys did remarkably oh. well. There you go. High five. I love that. It's a game where everybody so wins. Fun. And um, and you know what? The game and the answers we get from our guests, and they never get old. Never get, especially when you keep getting them right. Now, listen, you two. Uh, we've, we've held you for long enough. It is yeah. Sunday evening after all. And the Golden Globes are coming up, which are nowhere near as fun as yes. this. 
But hey, whatever. No, no, no. Whatever. They're coming after us. No, That's right. They're after us. Yeah, yeah. you got to be here. You know it, Jace. You know it. But before we let you go, <laughs> can you tease us a little with what's coming next for you both? I want to start with you, Robert. What do you got coming up, buddy? Dessert. No, I have, um, I have a few <laughs> things kind of... <laughs> sorry. I, I should shut up. I have a few things kind of like cooking. I was supposed to be filming a pilot like right when the pandemic hit. So hopefully that picks up. Um, and then I just, I'm also a writer, so I've been writing a lot, uh, which is really fun. Um, I write for like Backstage and a few other websites. And uh, you can find me on TikTok. So. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's yes. Great. Get him ticket and talking, people. Watch him tick his talk. That didn't <laughs> yeah, sound so right. tick my You know talk. what I mean? You know I don't I mean? even know. Yeah. yeah. No, but mostly just trying not to have a mental breakdown. That's pretty much what's coming. My hey, listen, you sound plenty busy, my man. You're doing a great job. Just keep all that you good too. stuff going. Jason, my man, what do you got? Where are we going to see you doing your thing? I'm going to be taking TikTok lessons from Rob. Um, ah, yes. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> you don't um, need them. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to uh, hopefully be uh, doing the My Bridgeport Film Fest. I've been working with a nonprofit organization called Groundwork here in my hometown of Bridgeport. Hopefully we get to do it virtually and in person safely in July, um, gearing up for that. And just doing a lot of writing, you know, I have a couple of scripts I'm trying to get polished up to send out. I um, want to shoot some stuff in the fall. Things are better. So looking forward to that. Awesome. Remember that team? Bridgeport Film Fest. Get on it. Get down there. Buy the tickets. Um, that's how to be. You guys are so busy. You're doing so much good stuff. It's so refreshing and exciting. I love it. Keep it coming, gentlemen. Keep it coming. Um, Robin, you too. thank you. Jason, thank you so much for joining us today. It was so much fun getting to know you gents and everything you've been up to and thank how you. you got through the, uh, the web series. Um, it was magic, as I said before. So everybody out there, please, a safe distance, the web series. Take a peek at it. These boys are absolutely awesome, as are the rest of the cast. Thank um, you. And it's, it was super Thank fun you. getting to know just how safe you were with safe distances. You guys nailed that game today. To keep up oh, with all, all, all the mischief. <laughs> <laughs> and to keep up with all their mischief, not only what they're doing here, but everywhere else, um, including links for a safe distance. You know what to do, team. Just look down below. All the information is down there as ever. Thank you so much for joining us on the show for yet another week. I hope you had as much fun as we did, as we always do. And please remember, if you have an artist or a content creator you're following, drop their names in the comment below, along with any questions you're dying to have them answer. We will get them on the show and we will have them talking. Just like next week, for example, because next Sunday, we have the trilogy of A Safe Distance joining us. We're going to have the screenwriter and the director on the show. Let us know if you have any yes. uh, any questions you want them to yes. answer because we will hit them with the hard stuff. Do not forget to like Season and two. subscribe the show. And remember, we are live. <laughs> oh, he said it. Say it again, Jay. He Say did. it again. Season two. Ask him about season two. Yeah. Ask him about the question. <laughs> <laughs> we already have our first question. We will come straight out of the gates with that one. How are you doing? Lovely to meet you. Season two, where is it? Talk to us now. <laughs> Just like Alan that. and Kevin's revenge. No, we don't do revenge. Ooh, I like that. No, and it was some revenge you guys could have in that one as well. <laughs> we will hit them with it, team. We will hit them with it. Do not forget um, to like and subscribe to the show. Remember, we are live, so turn on all your notifications by hitting the bell icon. Wait for it. Bing! There it is. So you don't miss an episode because that would be the worst thing in the world, wouldn't it? Almost, almost, almost. Until next time, do not forget, have fun and stay beautiful, people.